I've got four Anona rootstocks that I'll be working on, looking for scions for these this uh, fall and winter. Um, three of them are Atamoya, and these are some just from some seeds that I got from a fruit a couple of a couple of years ago, um, and I tried to graft onto them last winter. The the grafts didn't take, and so I just let them grow out and. They've about doubled their their girth down here, um, so and they've become pretty well established in the pot. Um, feel pretty solid, so these should make pretty good solid rootstocks. Um, I have a an even older one. This is a cherimoya that I planted about three years ago. It's a um, the, the scion that I tried to grab onto it didn't take in. It's put out these um, these branches that are pretty pretty good size. So I'm kind of thinking that I might try to uh, multi graft this one just to see how it does. Um, I have a another cherimoya that is actually from the same batch of seeds as that one, and um, this one is including the pot, it's about eight feet tall. And I have um, one Atamoya, it's called a Pepajong, that's grafted on right there. And that one's been doing pretty well. Um, I'm kind of contemplating keeping this one outside all winter, just to cold test it, see how it does in our climate. Um, if we have some kind of extreme weather event, I can always just drag it inside the greenhouse. I also have some, these are probably about nine months old. These are some cherimoya seedlings that I've been growing this spring and summer. Um, they are kind of borderline for rootstocks right now. Um, I just they just kind of flop around. They're not really secure in their pots, and I almost feel like if I try to um, graft them next year sometime, I like them to be a little bigger and and also just kind of fill out their pot. And um, maybe even in a, like a three-gallon pot would be, I think, the ideal size. I've had better luck with grafting. Um, more established rootstocks, and I think um, that might be the case for these ones as well. So I'll be looking for Anona scions shopping around. If you have any suggestions about some good varieties I should try or what I should try to avoid um, due to compatibility issues between Cherimoya and Atamoya, um, let me know. Thank you.